coming up, the front, front back, back, inside, and outside. outside. Yep, those are the four parts of your legs that you need to work out. Squats are great, but we'll show you the movements necessary to have balanced leg muscles. A vegan cafe we previously visited has updated their look and their menu. Mushroom tacos and a Colombian classic are on the way. Plus, scented candles smell great, but may not be so great for you. All that and more is today on SoFlo Health. Hello and welcome to SoFlow Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and today I'm at Love Life Cafe. Does that sound familiar? Longtime viewers of SoFlow Health might remember when we recently visited Love Life Cafe. Well, guess what? They've gone through an upgrade process and they have a whole new space with some new menu items and I'm so excited to see it. It's a vegan restaurant that's welcoming to everyone. So let's go meet Veronica and learn more about it. As promised, this is Veronica. Veronica, congratulations on the new place. Thank you. Tell me what's new besides how beautiful it is. <laughs> well, it's definitely beautiful. Um, and what's new is we have an amazing natural wine bar that we're very proud of. Um, it has also really cool craft beers and um, new pizza dough that we're making by hand now. It's a sourdough pizza. Wow. Um, a lot of new menu items, you know, really elevating our food. Mm -hmm. you know, our food is already great, but we were very limited where we were before. And now we have like a Ferrari kitchen and <laughs> we can pretty much do whatever we want. So we're very excited about it. That's wonderful. And what's the idea for people coming to visit? What are they gonna, what should they expect? Here, I think we really took that to the next level we built a space where it can be a place where you can come for date night and celebrate your birthday, or you can come work from here or after going to the gym. Excellent. I think you nailed it because it has like this homebody feeling, like you feel very welcome, but you can easily see how it's upscale. And if you want to come for date night, it's also great for that as well. Yeah. Uh, tell me about some of the art. You've got a lot of beautiful art on the walls. <laughs> well, my husband, Diego, who is my co founder and partner. He worked at an art gallery before, and before that he worked with a very famous artist here in Miami. So he loves art and he brought all of our art from home. <laughs> um, we had a hole um, who is a local artist, um, paint two of our walls as well. It's very much Diego and Veronica's home here. <laughs> it feels like it. Well, we thank you for having us in your home. Uh, one more thing, I noticed you have the Blue Zones book lying around oh, here. Oh yeah. And we recently did a show with Blue Zones and talking about what they are and sharing those with people. Uh, but there's actually something interesting about the Blue Zones. You're involved. Yes. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say involved, but... So you're in the book. <laughs> yeah, so um, they actually came to film at our house. Mm -hmm. I was um, pregnant at the time, this big. <laughs> and, you know, it was such a pleasure to be able to share some of the recipes that we make here at the cafe um, in this wonderful book. What is the recipe here? Plant-powered arepa. So we share the recipe for the plant-powered arepa, which mm -hmm. is made with chlorophyll and chia seeds. It has a black bean sofrito inside. Mm -hmm. And we also share the recipe for our sancocho, which is a plant-based sancocho made with root veggies that is delicious. It's a Colombian sancocho, and we have a lot of Colombian guests that say it's just like the original sancocho. Oh, we love that. <laughs> yeah, and here on SoFlo Health, it's always exciting to us to not just go to great restaurants with great tasting food, but when it's health-centered, that's even more exciting, and that's pretty much what you guys are all about. For people that are new to Love Life Cafe, what is it, who is it for? When you come to Love Life Cafe and you look around, you would see all different types of people from different demographics and different age groups. You know, it's just a beautiful mix because the intention of having it be a welcoming and open space, you know, really goes a long way, so. Yes, and I think that the expansion of your original location to this is a testament to that. If people would like to learn yeah. more about Love Life Cafe, how can they? Um, our website is lovelifecafe.com. Mm -hmm. We also have our Instagram account at lovelife underscore cafe. Well, Veronica, thank you so much. And this isn't it. If you're enjoying what we've been talking about so far, don't worry, we're gonna try some of the food. I'm very excited. <laughs> Veronica, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey there. Say 
you're having a party or you just finished cleaning and organizing your home. To go that extra mile, you decide to light a few scented candles and get some pumpkin spice or lemongrass fragrance going. But what are you actually inhaling along with all those delicious or refreshing scents? Well, depending on the candle you're burning, it might be fine or you might as well be smoking a cigarette. In the United States, skincare products, perfumes, and candles can legally use the catch-all term fragrance on an ingredient list. And some of those can be synthetic or natural. A good rule of thumb when buying scented candles is to look for candles that are derived from 100% essential oil. Any synthetic ingredients should be certified non-toxic. Also, transparency is key, so prioritize candle makers that are willing to list ingredients in full. Next, we get into the type of wax. Paraffin wax, which is petroleum-based, has long been painted as toxic. While the health risk hasn't been confirmed, there are other options if you just feel better avoiding paraffin. Plant-based waxes, including coconut, soy, and beeswax, can offer a more natural, sustainable approach. But shop wisely, a candle can have only 1% beeswax and be labeled as a beeswax-based candle. Look for a candle that says it's made of 100% natural wax, so you're not inadvertently getting a paraffin blend. Finally, look for 100% natural fiber wicks like cotton, hemp, or wood, and avoid wicks that use a metal support. And go online to learn how to properly trim a candle wick to avoid soot. So, the next time you're out shopping for a candle, don't forget to look for the right ingredients. Your lungs will thank you. Stay right there, because we'll taste some of the food at Love Life Cafe, and then Morgan's gonna show you how to work out all four parts of your legs. Did you even know there were four parts? Stay with us and keep watching SoFlo Health. Focusing on you, innovations in modern medicine from your team of experts at UHealth, the University of Miami Health System. A routine physical revealed a serious heart condition Dr. Jeff Neal didn't even know he had. The heart was dilated because there was uh, backflow of blood coming in from these two valves that I was born with. Jeff, a colorectal surgeon with a busy practice, needed his aortic valve replaced and soon. That led him to Dr. Joseph Lamellis, Chief of Cardiac Surgery at UHealth. His heart function was normal, but the ventricle was dilating. And that means that the valve was leaking for such a long time that it started putting pressure on the heart and the heart started to grow. Dr. Lamellis performs a technique to access the aortic valve without opening up the chest. It's a five centimeter incision that occurs between the ribs. This technique does not require breaking the ribs, so there's very little trauma to the chest wall. The minimally invasive heart procedure pioneered by Dr. Lamellis allows patients like Jeff to be out of the hospital and back on their feet within days. He is, I feel, the greatest to be able to do what he did. Jeff is back home enjoying time with his wife and daughters and can't say enough about Dr. Lamellis and the UHealth team. You can't argue with excellence, perfection, compassion, competence all rolled up into one. Welcome back to SoFlow Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and I'm joined by Veronica of Love Life Cafe. Earlier, we got the inside scoop of what's changed here and how it's now a beautiful space that's much larger than the original location. And we even saw uh, her feature inside of the Blue Zones book. And now we've got some food in front of us. So Veronica, what am I looking at? So the Sancocho soup that I mentioned to you earlier, mm -hmm. that is featured in the Blue Zones book mm -hmm. and a fan favorite around here. Mm -hmm. um, it's made with root veggies, usually, because it depends on what's available, but usually it's yuca, potatoes, sweet potatoes, and plantains. And this is all vegan, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> she's, she's like, what do you mean? Of course it is. <laughs> Always. All right, well, I'm gonna get a taste of this. And while I do, tell me about these tacos. So this is a new menu item for us. Um, they are made with local taco shells, carnita oyster mushrooms. So they taste like churrasco, wow. but it's not. I love that, and I love this. This is so tasty. It's packed full of flavor. You know, a lot of um, vegetarian or vegan items, you almost feel like you're missing something because mm -hmm. a lot of people are just trying to stick so much to the health side of things, they forget the flavor or it's not as filling. This is filling, it's tasty. I love and it's it. healthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the taste is from spices and you know seasoning basically. Um, everything in there is a whole food and yeah. absolutely 
healthy and, and nutritious. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna try these, these tacos. Are these both new items on the menu? No, the Sancocho is not. The Sancocho has been uh, part of the menu for quite a while, but the tacos are a, a new menu item, yes. Excellent. Well, they're new to me, so I'm very excited to be tasting them. Last time uh, we were here, I tried your famous award-winning burger mm -hmm. and uh, one of your other salads, which were absolutely delicious. Awesome. Here we go. If you like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is very, very mm -hmm. good. I'm glad you like mm. it. And I love that you use the blue corn tortillas. There's something about it gives that extra bite. Mm -hmm. It's hearty, tasty, cool, refreshing. It's the real it. Mexican taco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the key. This is not uh, your Americanized Tex-Mex taco. This is a real uh, authentic taco. Mm -hmm. And I hear there's no oil in it either. We have a few things that don't have oil. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people these days prefer to go that route for different reasons. That's amazing that it's not only good for your health, it's able to meet those very niche goals, but it also tastes delicious. Well, Veronica, is there anything else we need to know about your new menu? Well, actually, I wanted to add that we don't fry anything here, so you're safe with the fried food here. Wow. <laughs> Um, and the oils that we use are either olive oil or coconut oil. As far as the menu, we try to do a lot of, you know, to, to please the diversity. So we have like a super Italian pizza and, mm -hmm. you know, we have the tacos, we have the sancocho, we have a Venezuelan arepa, mm -hmm. we have mac and cheese. Um, you know, try to really please as many taste buds as possible. And I think that's a great point you bring up, the, the culture aspect. Mm -hmm. In fact, that's what Blue Zones are all about. There were cultures that were just eating the way that they were already eating for many, 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 many years, and they found that people were healthier because of the lifestyles that they live in those cultures. So, Veronica, yeah. thank you so much. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely delicious. So is this. I'm going to keep munching here. Oh, uh, one more time, it. if people would like to learn more about Love Life Cafe, how can they? Lovelifecafe.com is our website, and you can also find us on social media, love life underscore cafe. Well, once again, congratulations on the new space. Thank this is delicious. You. And now you head over to Morgan, <laughs> where she's going to do something that's more productive than watching me eat. <laughs> when it comes to leg workouts, it seems like people are in one of two camps. Either legs, I don't do them, or legs, obsessed with them. In fact, it seems like the guys are often avoiding leg day and women yes. are obsessed. Overdoing it, and I think we should meet somewhere in the middle. I think it's a good compromise. I agree. This is personal trainer Morgan Shapiro, and she's gonna talk to us about that. In fact, when it comes to leg workouts, not all exercises are created equal, right? They're not. There's the squat. And then there's the deadlift. Right. But one is working the quads a little bit more, and one is working the hamstrings a little bit more. Right. So it's very different muscles, right? But who cares about that? Because we want to teach people about working out your legs. Right. What do we need to know? We need to know that when you work out your legs, you're going to work front, front back, back, inside, inside outside. outside. Easy enough, right? <laughs> it's got a little jingle to it, and that way you know that you're getting a full workout. Whatever exercises you end up choosing, you know if you've hit the front, the back, inside, outside, you're good. You're good to go. You're good. So today we're going to show you four of the exercises that fit that mold. Mm -hmm. We're going to go through it, and you guys could try it at the gym or at home. Excellent. So we've got some kettlebells here for these exercises. We do. We're going to start with the front. So we're going to pick up our kettlebell, holding it at our chest. You can hold it down, a little bit of a goblet squat, and we're going to go ahead, squat down, keep those knees pressed out, chest up, and we're really working the front, the quads here. Your form is looking great. We've done this a lot on the show. Hunters and natural. If you're not feeling this exercise, you can go ahead, do the leg press, do the leg extension. Whichever one you pick is perfectly fine. So front, Check. Check. Now we are going to, I'm going to face to the side. You can stay okay. to the front. Oh. So we see all, all the good form checks. Now we're going to work the back, right? We're going to go okay. ahead and do the kettlebell deadlift. Okay. So we're going to hinge from the hips, setting the glutes back, little bend in the knees, and coming right back up, squeezing at the top, but not locking out those knees. So here we're working the back, AKA the hamstrings. How you feeling? Good. Good, neck is in line with the spine. I'm liking it. If you're not a big kettlebell deadlift fan, you can do the barbell deadlift, you can do the lying hamstring curl, stability ball lying hamstring curl, whichever variation you choose. Excellent. And coming back down. So, we already covered the front. The back. And the back, pretty simple. All that's left is the inside and the outside, outside. but we'll show you that later on. We've got some work to do. Here's the health happening coming up this week. Kids in Distress is honored to partner with the Brianne Ashley Stewart Foundation to shed light on children's mental health. 
One in five children is living with a significant mental illness, and half of mental health issues start at age 14. Kids in Distress strives to educate, inform, and ensure that children and families who are experiencing mental health disorders have access to the resources, professionals, and the natural support systems that they need to heal. Partnerships such as this help us build a movement that brings these issues into the light, where evidence-based help can be provided immediately and with excellence. Help support the Brianne Ashley Stewart Foundation and Kids in Distress by joining them on Saturday, February 18th at the Putting on the Kicks Gala. Tickets are on sale now. Don't go away. More ways to get and stay healthy are still ahead on SoFlo Health. Welcome back to SoFlo Health. I'm Hunter Frankie. We're at Circuit Academy in Miami Beach. This is Morgan Shapiro, and we've been talking about leg workouts, specifically that you should be working the front, front back, back, inside, and outside. outside. <laughs> Earlier, we went over the front and the back. Now we're going to do inside, outside. So what's all this for? So we have a little setup here to work mm -hmm. the inside, the adductors. So I want you to put that band around your right foot okay. at about ankle, at your ankle. And then you're gonna step away enough to where you have some give in the resistance band. Mm -hmm. Then you're simply gonna bring your foot in and then bring it back out. Now you wanna be far enough that when you bring it in, you're feeling the tension in your inner thigh, but not so far that it's pulling your hip up, right? You wanna find that in between, looking good to me. And now if you're not liking this exercise, you can do the traditional adduction machine at the gym where you're bringing the knees in and out. There's a lot of other variations you can do, but basically we're trying to work the inside. This is a really important stabilizer muscle, which is really gonna increase your strength on the big lifts, the squat, the deadlift. And really just important to keep those stabilizers strong as we get older, it prevents a lot of injury. So that's a good one. All right, and that's the inside. That's inside, check. What do we need for the outside? Outside, we are going to need our body weight and a mat. All right, we're gonna get, well, we have our body weight. Let's get a mat. <laughs> I'm on the mat, Morgan, what now? It's time to work the outside. We are going to do a side plank hip abduction. Starting with the setup, I want your elbow to be in line with your shoulder. Your knees are bent and your heels are, imagine there's like an imaginary line drawn from your heels to your glutes. That's the perfect starting place, right? So now you're going to lift your hips up for a side plank and raise that leg for a little abduction. So as you can see right here, we're working the outside and we're sneaking in a little core at the same time with the side plank. How are you feeling, Hunter? I know these this are- This burns me up. These, these are tough, but more the reason why it is part of a great workout. And now if you're looking at this and you're like, nope, not for me, you can go ahead into the gym and do the abduction machine where you're bringing the knees out or you could do a little band work side to side, whatever works for you, but this is looking good to me. Trainer oh. approved. Yes, <laughs> those are great. But because I know I'm actually weaker there, they gas me out pretty quick. Which is probably more the reason to do them. Yes, it's definitely more the reason to do those. Uh, another variation is something that we've shown on the show before, yep. where you take a mini band, you put them around your knees or your ankles, correct? Yep, and just walk side to side, super simple. Super side simple. to side, forward and back. Yep. Dance around. But overall, what we make sure that you've learned here today is that you work the front, front back, back, inside, inside outside. outside. We're back at MyCare Medical. I'm here with Dr. Antonio Wong, who has just become the 96th president of the Broward County Medical Association and the first Asian American to head that organization. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Thank you so much, Manny. Uh, Broward County Medical Association, as you know, is a 95 year, almost 96 years uh, institution that serves the uh, healthcare of the Broward County residents. And I'm very, proud to be leading a role as president of this year. And you've been practicing medicine for about 30 years. That's correct. How has, how has the practice of medicine changed over that 30 years? Well, practice, the healthcare uh, industry after COVID has uh, impacted tremendously in the uh, healthcare delivery everywhere, including Broward County. So we are now trying to be more proactive about making sure that if a pandemic like that hopefully doesn't happen again, if it did happen again, we are ready to take care of that problem. I think the uh, medicine right now has more complexity. We have uh, better methods of treating people. 
but by the same token, it's more expensive. <laughs> and unfortunately, it's, it's a challenge that we every day have to do uh, to make sure that uh, patients uh, becomes more educated about the healthcare. So what is the MyCare medical difference? What does MyCare bring to the table? So it's not a secret that at MyCare, we care about people. Right, so the way that we translate it is that we try to educate our patient, empower them, because that feels that they're engaged. An engaged patient leads to minimize costs and maximize compliance. It's a win-win situation. If a person wants to find out more about MyCare Medical, how can they? Well, we are listed uh, um, everywhere. Uh, we have the presence in Dade County, Broward County, Palm Beach, Tampa. Uh, so we are everywhere because that's our motto, follow your quality care wherever you go to. Dr. Wong, thank you very much for being with us today and congratulations once again on your appointment. Well, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to continue doing great care for the, our community. Bye, guys. Thank you. Welcome back to SoFlo Health. I'm Hunter Frankie, and we're just wrapping up this week's episode here at Love Life Cafe. It's been a great episode, and I'm so happy to see that friends of ours have grown on to do even more than when we first met them. And this food has been delicious. I know you saw me munching on the taco earlier, but I'm back to the soup because it's just so hearty and makes me feel good. I mean, soup's great when you're feeling good, bad, whatever. It's just great. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this week's episode of SoFlo Health. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you learned something. As always, you can watch previous episodes of SoFlow Health on SoFlowShows.com. You can follow us using at SoFlow Health to share with us what you're doing to stay healthy. Until next week, it's goodbye, good health, and excellent soup. Next week on SoFlow Health, we'll visit an exclusive spot for a romantic getaway, help you prepare for retirement, and show you what happens to your body when you're dehydrated. It's all right here next week on SoFlow Health. We'll see you then.